Okay, so obviously you guys have seen my recipes all online, and I'm sorry I'm not posting as many. Eating raw is kind of hard for me to grasp on what recipes to use. I'm following the 80-10-10 diet, which is something I've incorporated into my lifestyle. Um, it's 10% protein from your greens, and like bananas have lots of protein, and then the rest is fruit. Straight up, it's probably the most fabulous thing I've ever done. I love it. I feel so good. I feel like I'm eating the most delicious food all day because it's fruit, but I like spicy food, so it's hard for me to get the fruit and a spice together in like a salad or in my zucchini noodles. So just be patient with me and I will post more, I promise. But today I wanted to go over skincare and how not only just eating right is fill and all your organs, but how what you do and what you put on your skin is important. So I saw, I know that you guys saw me make a lotion earlier. I had like baby lotion and some uh, vitamin E pills in them. Anyways, I went and got the vitamin E oil now. It's going to be more efficient. It's super easy. What it is, is organic coconut oil. Unrefined. And I love that it's summertime because my oil is oily. Actually, not. Just stuck. Which is nice. So basically, all I'm going to be using is the oil on my skin. I love it. I think it's great. I only put on lotion once I get out of the shower. Or like... To, you know, just whenever I get wet, go to the pool, but I usually shower after those activities, so, you know, whatever. I'm just going to put some in here. I want this to last a minute, so I'm just going to put most of it in here. This is all I'm going to be basically using this for. I'm not really using any oils anymore in my diet. I did not eat raw the other day, though. My friend made vegan shish kebabs, and we were having a barbecue, and I wanted to fill, make a part of it, and not be a brat, so. I mean, follow a healthy lifestyle as much as you can, but when it comes to being social or people making things, you don't want to be rude. Hey! Relax! Okay. So, then I have my vitamin E oil. This is Jason's Pure Natural Skin Oil from Whole Foods. You can find it at any health food store. Whole Foods probably isn't the cheapest. I've been going there a lot though. I love it. It's kind of a bad habit. Alright. So, yep. Yeah, it's about good. Not too much. Hey, don't eat that. Don't eat that, Riley. Drop it. Drop it. Okay. He didn't even touch it. Whew. We're all good. And clove oil is something I like to use. It's a comforting oil. I went to a festival last year and got this oil for my skin that you would rub on for a Virgo. Anyways, it was mostly just clove buds, and I loved it, and it made me feel really good. So since I put this on when I get out of the shower most of the time, my lotion, I'm going to put some of this in here this time. Just a little bit to comfort my skin. It's pretty strong, so have a little bit of comfort on me. There's literally not even five splashes. Five little drops. So, yeah. Boom, bada, bing. Okay. Anyway, so when I wash my hands, I like to use Essentials Unscented Pure Natural Glycerin Hand Soap. It is really natural. It's really good for you. I don't think uh, a lot of hand soaps are good for you. Which is sad because my hands were cracking up a lot over the winter. Ever since I've used this, I haven't had a problem at all. I absolutely whew, I absolutely love it and I think it's just the best product out there. I get it at this California Natural store kind of by my work actually. If you know where Costco is, on 300 West and 17th South, it's just a little past there. It's, like, right behind Costco. You'll see it from Costco's parking lot. And they're only open from Saturdays and Sundays, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. But you should go check it out. They have really good deals and really good stuff on a lot of organic things. I mean, a lot of the stuff they have I don't eat. 
often, but I think you should, it's totally worth checking out. It's really, really cool. They have really good products. Um, on my face. I use Derma E Soothing Cleanser with anti-aging viscinogel. Anyways, if you can't pronounce something, you need to Google it. I Googled this before I bought this product. And I looked on the back. None of this is animal products. It's a cruelty project. Or I mean a cruelty-free product. And I got it from Sprouts. I usually use a exfoliator, but I bought an exfoliator brush. Just super light and super easy on my skin because exfoliators usually have cracked shells and it's so bad for your skin. Even though it may make your skin look clear, it's really, really bad for it. <sighs> okay, we're almost done. On my hair. What a really good product to use is shampoo and conditioner from Moroccan Argan Oil. I like these because they don't use any harsh products. None of them have animal products. And, uh, I don't really shampoo my hair. My mom always jokes with me. Well, she doesn't joke. She gets mad at me and thinks my hair looks greasy. But I wash my hair every day. I probably shampoo it once a week. Twice a week. Um, shampooing your hair is super bad for you. But I just scrub really hard on my head all the time. And then just put in some conditioner at the bottom. And my hair does not look greasy. I just need to brush it out. I just got back from Bikram Yoga, so... Look kind of me, but yeah, these are all really pretty good products. I just thought you should know what's good to use. There's a lot of other products that are really good to use. Uh, if you're trying to decide what to use, I would go to a health food store and just ask them what's good for your body skin and tell them what you like at a product, and they can help you find something. Last but not least, what I have been washing my vegetables with: fruit and vegetable wash. From Trader Joe's. This was like four dollars. And oh, and all these products are super cheap. I mean this was eight bucks, but it lasts forever. And this I got at Costco, 15 for both. And this was 20 bucks at Costco. It's lasted me for I don't know how long. This is probably like uh, 12 bucks, but it's a good investment. I really, really, really would like to invest my money into good products. But I had been using these frozen frozen berries from Costco, and they were infected with hepatitis. <sighs> Super sketchy. They were, like, organic. I just didn't wash them off or anything when I would blend them. And I went to the doctor. I don't have hepatitis, so no worries. I'm all safe, all good. But that really opened my eyes to organic or not organic. You really don't know what's on your food. You didn't prepare yourself. You really don't know who the grower is at them in person, what they're like, what they do. People can be really dishonest. So I went and bought this and I've been soaking my veggies in this and my fruit in this. Vinegar works really well too, my coworker said. So once that's out, I'm just going to get some vinegar and do a little bit. Cool. I hope this helps you guys out and, you know, if you guys like these products. Thanks.